Hello my posse, hello all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming to my living room today. The sun is gonna be a little bright. I may have to turn my chair, but for now, we'll let the sun come in because it's hot here today. Today, we're gonna show you. I'm doing a little different today because I've already put my wig on. Today is part three of my, uh, the wig company's wigs that they sent me. They sent me three wigs. Uh, for review and this is the last one of the three that they sent me so if you're interested in learning about this curly bouncy youthful Bob stay tuned <laughs> so yeah I put it on today I tell you I just shook this and put it on my head and I thought rather than put it on and go through all the hoopla before I came at, come at you with it actually on my hair now I was given um, three wigs by the wig company for review I I picked out the styles and I did pick out the colors myself and I've told you before the color wheels are new to me so I'm not real sure of the color I picked this wig for the bounciness of the curl uh, beak which I'll show you in a second uh, and I bought it for to wear up mainly although my husband loves this down this one here uh, is called new marty and new marty is number 10. now i think had i known the color selections and the colors better i may not have picked 10. i think it's a little dark um you know i i don't know when you're older you know you don't want to be witchetized <laughs> with dark hair you know I mean you get past a certain age you got to watch the dark hair I don't know that's just me but anyway if which it ties the word but I think it's a little dark but it is pretty um, I'll show you out in the sunlight it does look darker in here the Sun has gone down some because I had company so I'm filming later than I wanted to uh, it does look darker in here but it does have a really pretty golden brown and that's what it is Number 10 is, um, and this is average, is a medium golden brown. I would think it's more dark golden brown, but I don't think there's such thing. I, I guess it's pretty medium. It's just, um, I mean, this is how I wore my hair in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, exactly like this. This is exactly the color of my bio hair, which was fine when I was younger. I'm not sure. Like I say I bought it more or less to show you. And like I say, this is just out of the box, and I shook it. Uh, breaking up the fibers and uh, this is her I mean she is so bouncy and I bought it for the curl pattern and the bounce because as you'll see I'll show you some styles that I'm gonna do with it it comes you know in the cute little packaging I love their packaging it's like getting a little present <laughs> a little present and I love it uh, so and it's really cute and like I say new Marty uh, is um, 3.6 ounces and I've had it on for a couple of hours now because I had company. I was gonna do the video earlier and then my company came and it's hot out. So I was outside with the grandkids and, and uh, my daughter and her boyfriend and we were kind of hanging out a little bit and I was not really sweating as bad as I thought I was. I mean, I don't wear a cap or anything on my hair when I wear wigs. Um, I do have a wig band on now. Uh, it's freshly washed and it's real soft because that's what my hair is. I mean, I don't have any hair loss problems although I have to say since I had the um, coronavirus I have been losing my hair more than ever I don't know it's a side effect or something I've been brushing my hair and I've noticed it on my pillow uh, and it's only since I had the virus so I, I don't know but normally um, I wear wigs just because I love them and I like to change who I am every day it's like being an actress you can be anybody you want to you know one day you can be Marilyn Monroe the next day you can be 
you know, whoever, whoever you choose. Um, but I, I, I love wearing wigs, you know that. So uh, and this one here, like I say, I was out sidetracked. I was outside and I really was not sweating at 3. all. 3.6 ounces and I think a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, the length and the curl uh, pattern of it, uh, why it's 3.6 3. ounces. Uh, the length of it is uh, five inches in the front. Uh, it is five inches on the top. It is eight inches in the back and the nape. And I will. And I didn't. I I started to film this video on my stool, and uh, I have a dark brown wall in the back behind me, and you couldn't see really the curl pattern or anything with that brown wall. So I just stuck to my white chair and hopefully when I turn around you can see it. So the curl pattern on this is absolutely beautiful as you can see. Uh, she's very, very bouncy. My left. You can see how bouncy she is. Um, I, oh, I better comb it a little bit for Elena. <laughs> well, I better do this side because I'm right handed. You can see, Elena says I don't curl my or comb my hair in the back so, for the curl pattern. So you can see even when you uh, comb it out, it still bounces up. It's just a really, really nice. The only thing is that I think the bangs are a little too long. I might have to snip it, but you have to be really careful when you snip these bangs because it is so curly. Uh, if you cut them too short, they're going to go boing. So I may do a little, just a tad uh, snipping on it, but I was thinking of steaming them, but um, the straight bang wouldn't go with the curls of this uh, wig. And the, like I say, the wig pattern uh, on this is just absolutely, to me, incredible. I absolutely love it. Uh, let me drop a couple pictures in. I'll show you the cap construction. is the same as the flawless and the, um, the uh, new confidence, it's uh, completely capless, uh, open wefting, great tabs in the back. I'll just shoot a couple of pictures right here to show you the inside. Yeah, so it's very, very lightweight. The velvet band, I think, on it, it really, really keeps it um, really, really comfortable really 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 comfortable on your forehead it's really really cute really really cute <laughs> so you can just kind of put it up with a couple of clips on the side which are super cute like so just to pick it up now you know, you may see this wig and go, oh gosh, it's dark, It's I can't pull it off. But you have to visualize this, if this curl pattern and this style and pinning it up in your color. Maybe this is not your color, it's kind of dark for me too a little bit, but um, the curl in it is just so beautiful that you can do so many things with it. I mean, it comes in blondes, it comes in highlighted colors. It's, I believe it comes in gray. Uh, you may think, you know, because you're gray-haired, you know, you look too haggy with long hair, gray hair. No, haggy's not a word in my woman of a certain age vocabulary. No, we don't, we don't do haggy. We're all models here. We're all, we can be models. We're not haggy. So you can get away with really anything. The gray on it is really pretty. I think if you had gray and it was long, um, you could pin it up and I think it would be stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, and so you gotta visualize, you know, when I do um, review wigs, I, I buy them um, because I do buy them. I, I haven't bought these three because they were gracious to send these to me, but the majority of my wigs I purchase myself. So if I'm gonna spend my money, I'm gonna get a wig that I know that I'll wear at least color-wise. Um, so, but you have to visualize what you think is going to look good on you. And it is synthetic. And I don't think it's, you know, really shiny either. It's got a really nice, um, I don't know, healthy look. You know, I've talked about this before, girls. I don't, I don't mind, you know, some of you think shiny is like uh, fake and wiggy looking. You know, some of them are like baby doll hair if you buy the fake ones like I got stuck with, which you saw in my fake review. 
that I got burned on an ad on Facebook. But, um, you know, those are like Barbie doll hairs. But I don't think these, these just look like healthy. I mean, I had it on today. My daughter came in. She goes, oh my gosh, you would never know that that is a wig. I really don't think the shine is bad at all. So, and like I say, you visualize yourself in this. I mean, you know, close your eyes and think about this curly style uh, in your color that you like. And you know, because you're older, uh, doesn't mean that you can't have curl. I mean, I think for me, if I put on a straight, straight hair, um, especially if it's really light, I think it ages me more. I'm just real uh, perky and like, and I like fullness and I like curls and you know, I like big hair cause you know, I, I don't know, I'm an eighties girl. So what can I say? And this one here satisfies every bit of what I like. So you can put the little clips in like this, which are super duper cute, super duper cute. Um, and uh, you, just, just to put it up on the side. You can also take uh, a big clip like so. You can take a little bit this way and just take a clip and put it in the back. Now I can't see if that, clip is straight. Sometimes when I turn around, the clip is like wonky, but, um, but you get the idea. Just pin it up a little bit like so, uh, and pull it up a little on the back. You know, leave these there. The curl, the bounce, I think for around your face, these little ringlets here just are just so darling to me. I just think they're darling. So you can do it that way. And the other thing that's really cute, almost said really super cute, are the square headbands. And you know, you girls know how the square headbands are. I mean, they are like, I don't know who invented these square hairbands. Maybe Julie invented them from square headbands. I don't know. But they are absolutely incredible. I have quite a few. I did a review with my Bella on the square headbands. I will link that video below. The comments are, um, disabled because of the Copa laws on YouTube and um, they were on there for a while, but I had to mark that video for kids and because I did the YouTube disabled all the comments, but the video itself is pretty cute and it shows a lot of the square headbands. And I do have a code in my description box of the square headbands uh, for you for 25% off. Julie gave me a code for 25% off. Come on guys, stock up. They have so many colors. This one here, they call this something. I, I call it kind of leopardy, but there's another name for it. But what I like about them is too, on a wig like this, you can, let me get my mirror here. Oh, you can kind of take the side. They're the only ones that you can do this. And you can pick up the hair on the side, like so, and then place it in. And it kind of um, pulls the hair up away from your face, which is really, really cute. This is one, and uh, whoop. And of course, this is a polka dot one, which you know I love this. This is my favorite. I love this black and white polka dot. Um, Sandra Hart on here, she's a big polka dot girl. She looks so cute in her polka dot outfits. But anyway, that's a polka dot one. You can see how with the square headbands, you can go in for the fullness and um, pick up the hair. If you didn't want to pick up the hair and you just want to put it on the side like so, it, they come down really nice over uh, your ear like so, which is just, to me, um, super cute, if you can see that. And you know, I have black uh, also, which I really kind of like on my blonde wigs, um, but black, you know, goes with everything. And uh, you just have to play around with the hair a little bit so they lay they lay good. And I'll show you another good thing about these two when I put in up to it. Um, and I have just, you know, they have the plain aqua, like so. These have little sets in the side. This is another one of my favorite because aqua is one of my absolute favorite colors. Maybe you can put it like even low, like that. Kind of like a da 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 <laughs> Was it Flapper Girl? So is he, yeah. <laughs> That, that, what's that song, flapper song? Uh, that, that, I don't know, like a flapper girl. And, and so there's many, many styles and many, many colors in those square headbands. And I'll tell you what else is 
perfect. And somebody, somebody else asked me about this because I do pin um, my uh, wigs up when I get them long like this. I do like them pinned up. And I pin it up in the back and I'll show you. Let me get it all up first and then I'll be back. Okay, I didn't want to have you sit here and watch me put that clip in. So you put the clip in the back and I will show you. And if you think you know you want the size, you know, bobby pins, plain bobby pins are my best friend, really. Because you can stick bobby pins, twist bobby pins in any hairdo you want to flatten it down a little bit. So I would just take some bobby pins like so and kind of uh, go through the hair and just flatten it in places. Now I like these curls done on the side and of course I would have mine messy and high on the top. So that would be it in an updo. Really quick, up in, a, up in the back and um, a few bobby pins, Just you just take the bobby pin, open the bobby pin up like so, like this, Put it in where you think it's like too much hair. Put it in, twist it around in a circle, and stick it in the wig. And that will flatten your hair any place that you think it needs flattening. And the other thing that's great about the square headband is you know how you always have, and I'll show you in the back, um, because somebody asked me, well, what do you do when you have long wigs and then you put them up? You see that line where your hair the wig ends and your hair starts, or where the hair starts and your wig ends, whatever, it's fine. I don't know which way it goes. But what do you do with that line back there? As you can see, the line across the back. My own hair is short, so it's coming out a little bit. Normally I would just pin that down. So here's what you can do. There's a couple of things you can do. One is the square headband. You can take this square headband and put it around the back of the hair like so it'll fit right behind your ear goes right in the back of the wig and covers up that line and it looks really pretty and if you wanted black or a different color I'm just showing you the lighter color because I wanted you to actually see what it looked like. Um, and it doesn't, it covers it beautifully and it goes behind your ear. And I'm telling you, they are so comfortable. I had a regular headband on. I did this one night and um, I put a regular one of my headbands on without the square headbands. And like I was into the night and I had such a headache. Well, I didn't have a headache. I had this horrible jaw pain. I said to my husband, I said, oh my gosh, why do I have this jaw pain? And jaw pain scares me. Well, not only for heart problems, but uh, when I had my Bell's palsy, I told you about my Bell's palsy story. The only symptom that I ever had the day before I got my Bell's palsy was horrendous jaw pain. It was like, like a neuralgia or something. It was the worst jaw pain ever. And, um, I had this horrible jaw pain and I was like, oh my gosh. So I ran into the bathroom, I took off my, my wig and then I took off my headband and when I took off my headband, I realized that the tips of it were anchored right into a nerve on both sides. <laughs> it was causing me to have jaw pain. So I took off the headband and the jaw pain went away. Go figure. I mean, crazy things like that can happen that you don't even think about. But I'm telling you, the square headbands are perfect for these uh, updos on on long on long uh, wigs that you want to put up and they're very very comfortable and the other great thing about it is if you are guys and I hope you wear masks when you put a mask on you put them behind your ear like so and you know how your ears stick out when you have short hair especially well, if you have a square headband, it actually can fit up <laughs> over your ear and hold down your ears while you have your mask on. Go figure, huh? Pretty neat. And I hope you all, <laughs> I hope you're all wearing masks. 
I mean, come on guys. I know it's like some people are all about their rights and violated and, you know, there's a pandemic out there and we need to uh, do our part and wear, wear masks. We need to protect ourselves. We need to protect others. Others need to protect us. We don't know who's uh, positive, who's negative out there. Um, you know, the least you can do for the few minutes that you're in the store is put your masks on. I mean, it's the best thing to do to try to uh, flatten the curve of this pandemic. Uh, so yeah, wear a mask. Now you can wear a mask and be stylish because you can put the headband on, the square headband on, and um, voila, you're uh, looking good. So this is just an updo and a cute style. And uh, you know, um, you do have the wire headbands also that you can put on if you like that look also with an updo uh, super cute like so a little summer one fluff it up and this the wire headband also covers uh, the back line there between uh, the wig i have some some of my subscribers email me and they think that wire headbands or any kind of headbands they're too old and they're like 60 like i'm 77 i mean i'm i'm out for anything youthful i can get wire headbands square headbands you name it so i don't know why you think you're too old for a, a headband or a head tie of any kind you're not really you're not i'll show you something else too hold on Okay, this one here is like a regular uh, tie. And I have seen some girls do this. It is, um, it's actually kind of cute to wear. Oop. But if you wanted to wear a tie, you were going to the beach or you know, out someplace, the little ties are cute too. Just another thought to wear your hair different. I mean, if you wanted an updo of some sort, now see, if I was doing this here too, I would be really into this and I would be dragging curls down like so in the back and making it good and messy. So I think it's really cute. So I think um, I think it's the, the square headbands are definitely worth an investment. I think they're awesome for any style of wig to pick it up on the side, to cover the back. They're extremely comfortable. I, I love them and they all come in these cute little bags too. So get yourself some square headbands while I have the code and uh, get yourself some masks. I'm going to be reviewing some masks pretty soon too. I have a few, but uh, oh Carol, y'all know oh Carol. She's making me um, six masks and I am going to be reviewing them. Now, the only thing about masks is, you know, you can't see your lipstick or anything, which is fine, but you can do your eyes up like in this exotic uh, eyeshadows and just Make your eyes pop and don't, you know, when you squint a little bit, people will know that you're smiling at them because they can't tell you're smiling. <laughs> so, you know, but if your eyes are really done beautiful, I mean, I've been doing my eyes really heavy when I go out. So, so I hope you can see this and I hope, um, I hope it's something that you like. And Elena, it's not paradise. Um, she guessed and she thought that I would pick paradise because that's another cute wig style also in long uh, from the wig company. Uh, but I, I didn't. <laughs> this is called New Marty, and I absolutely love her, and I hope that you'll come out of your comfort zone a little bit and maybe, um, and maybe try one. Try one in blonde, try one in gray, uh, wear an updo. I mean, can you just see yourself going to a wedding or your family reunion with one of these? Nobody would ever know. And you know, you have little butterflies that you can put in, like so, they kind of go down kind of far though I don't think you can see them there's a couple like that I mean just think if you're going to a wedding or a, a party of some sort can you see that just all kinds of little accessories don't be afraid to accessorize because you think you're you know 
past the limit of accessories. Like women of a certain age, you can't have long hair anymore. I mean, I told you, I think my mom was 90 when she passed and she still had long curly black hair. She dyed it. Sometimes she'd mix the dye three days before and it would be purple on her hair, but she didn't care. Purple would be in now. <laughs> but she always had long hair and the people in her senior complex used to say, oh Margie, you should cut your hair. People your age don't have that kind of hair. And she goes, I dress for myself. I like my hair. Leave me alone. She was, yeah, she was, uh, she was tough, but she did what she wanted to do. That's the way my mom was and why not? And um, that's what I say. Do what's comfortable and even come out of your comfort zone a little bit. What, what do you got to lose? Okay. It makes you feel youthful no matter what. Do it and try some curls. This is really, really great. So thank you for watching uh, my last of my three series. I will be uh, hopefully doing business with um, the wig company again. I love them. I love their packaging. Their customer service is great. Um, I haven't um, returned anything. Well, I wouldn't because they sent these to me. But I am going to order a few more. There are quite a few cute styles there uh, that I'm looking forward to uh, trying. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for coming. I so appreciate you. Be safe. Um, and me and my curls are going to actually go to Kroger's now. <laughs> I might as well. I'm all dressed up. I guess I'll go someplace. So this again is Marty. It's number uh, new Marty. It's number 10, and it's a medium golden brown, and my circumference is average. Uh, the the um, tabs on this, too, are the Velcro tabs, and if you're a little smaller, your head, uh, you can cinch them in, and if your head's a little bigger, I think you can really make them really wide, and it gives you a lot of extra room. So I think you'd be, I think you'll be happy with it. So I'm kind of sad that my three are over. Uh, thank you, Wig Company. Thank you, Julie, uh, at the Wig Company also for sending me these and, and trusting me with your wigs for review. I appreciate that. And thank you, Julie, from Square Headbands for the code. I appreciate that. And I have some uh, links in the description box. Always check my description box. Uh, you never know what you're going to find in there. <laughs> I may have a secret. So and my, I'm going to do a shout out pretty soon uh, before my giveaway. My giveaway is coming um, probably sometime next week after my grandson's birthday. We're going to announce a giveaway. And uh, I'm going to try to fit in my uh, a shout out for you because I really, this giveaway and my channel is all about you. And I want to let you know how much I appreciate you. So if you see your name rolling up, um, uh, I, you'll know that I appreciate you. So thank you so much. I'll see you again. Uh, blessings. Be safe. Wear your mask. Don't be that person. <laughs> be kind. Uh, be safe. Um, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you again soon. I love you guys. Bye.